This bobbin case is for machines designed to use front-loading bobbins. The bobbin case has a hinged latch on the outside. This latch is used for inserting and removing the bobbin case from the machine. There is a small screw on the outside which can be used to increase or decrease tension on the bobbin thread. It is important that the bobbin is correctly threaded for the machine to sew properly. Use only Singer brand bobbins and make sure they are Class 15, not Class 15J. Class 15 is the correct bobbin for front-loading bobbin cases. To insert or remove a bobbin, make sure the needle is in its highest position by turning the hand wheel toward you. Remove the extension table from the machine and then open the hinged cover. Pull the bobbin case tab and then remove the bobbin case. Hold the bobbin case with one hand. Remove the empty bobbin. Insert the full bobbin so that the thread moves in a clockwise direction. Pull the thread through the slit and under the finger. Hold the bobbin case by the hinged latch. Insert it into the shuttle. You should feel it click into place. Once the bobbin case is correctly seated, release the latch. To check that the bobbin case has been properly installed, slowly turn the hand wheel toward you. The needle should move up and down without hitting the bobbin case. If the needle hits the bobbin case, or if the bobbin case starts falling out of the shuttle, remove the bobbin case completely and reinsert it. The bobbin thread tension can be tested by first removing the bobbin case and bobbin. While holding the thread tail, snap your wrist once or twice. If the thread unwinds an inch or two, the tension is set correctly. If the thread doesn't unwind at all, the tension is set too tightly. If the bobbin case drops too much, the tension is set too loosely. To adjust the bobbin thread tension, turn the small screw located here on the side of the bobbin case. Turn the screw to the left if the tension is too tight, or turn the screw to the right if the tension is too loose.